Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about sublimation on kitchen towels. I actually have several different versions of a kitchen towel and several different sources so you can pick and choose the one that suits your needs and the ones that maybe you like. We are going to sublimate these with our sublimation printer with a cute mason jar design. And yes, I have the mason jar design for free and I will link in the description below this video where to get your file. So you can download the file and make your own kitchen towels if you would like. These make an amazing gift for just about anyone on your list. And plus like who doesn't need kitchen towels? If you need kitchen towels for yourself, be sure to create some and even some personalized ones for your own needs. Now, most of the time I tell you wherever you purchase your sublimation blank, you should go by their directions. I actually found that in this case, I had better luck with a lower time and lower temperature than what was recommended in most of the cases of these towels. So I'm gonna walk through what I found works best and I made several towels trying to perfect this and I think I got it right. We're gonna do everything from a like waffle weave towel, which is my personal favorite. We're also gonna do one that is basically a bath towel, so you could use this in the kitchen or you can use it as a hand towel in your bathroom. And I'm also going to sublimate a microfiber towel from the Dollar Tree. And that way you can see a budget friendly option. If you like microfiber towels, this version might be for you and you can sublimate on it. So let's get started taking a look at the supplies we're gonna use. The towels themselves, I'm gonna do a few different varieties. So I have some waffle weave towels, which I think are better for kitchen towels. I have two sizes from Condi as well as one from Heat Transfer Warehouse to compare how they do. I then have a towel from Condi here that's more like a bathroom towel feel. And then I do have a microfiber cloth. You can find these in the car section at your local Dollar Tree. They are polyester. They will work for this. Could you use them in the kitchen? Probably. So I thought I would do that one as well. And then a lint roller, protective paper, heat resistant tape, and then you will need your sublimation prints. So this is sublimation ink printed on sublimation paper from a sublimation printer. And I will have this design for you to download. I printed it in a couple different sizes because I have large and small towels and wanted to vary the one I used for the different towels. So if you want this particular file, it will be linked in the link below this video. So head there to get your free download. And then you can use this for kitchen towels or whatever else you would like. So I already have these printed. Again, I printed a couple different sizes. You can print these in any size or the file that you would like on your kitchen towels. For this, you will need a heat source. I'm gonna use an easy press just for ease of use. However, you can use a heat press for this as well. Through some experimenting, I've found 380 degrees for 45 seconds works best for these waffle towels. Um, they just, it presses down the waffle weave and the lower the temperature and time you can go, the better. I have my easy press mat under here. I have a piece of foam that fits inside of my sublimation print. So this ripped edge will be around the outside. The foam will be on the inside, but larger than the print itself. And then I have that covered by some protective paper and then my kitchen towel over the top. And then we'll just want to preheat the area to remove any moisture or wrinkles. Five to 10 seconds is fine. Then allow that to cool completely. And you can lint roll while that cools. And I like to lint roll these at an angle. It kind of picks that waffle weave back up where the easy press or the heat press would have kind of knocked it down. So now that we have that set, well, we can add our sublimation print and just locate it wherever we want it on the towel. And we'll just use heat resistant tape to tape that down about four places is fine. And we'll cover that with protective paper. Then once that's covered with protective paper, we're gonna add easy press, heat press, whatever. And you wanna press down till the foam is compressed about halfway. And again, 380 degrees for 45 seconds is what I like. And just remove the easy press and we can peel back that sublimation print. And it looks gorgeous on the towel. And what I do, if you find that the waffle is kind of crushed a little bit, just run your 
lint roller over it in both directions. And I find that it lifts it back up. You could also like run your Easy Press Mini around the outside edge if you have any heat press marks, but this one looks really great just like that. So let's take a look at some results. This is the Condi version that I sublimated in the video. I sublimated the rest of the towels I'm gonna show you with the exact same method, whether they were the Waffle Weave or the other versions. I found that that same time and temperature worked best and I use the same methods. So this towel looks amazing. I love the way it turned out. I did wanna show you what too much time and too much temperature would do. And we'll see if we can capture this on screen. This version, I had it too hot for too long. And the waffle weave will not come back up. It is permanently down, it's like it's burnt. And you can see a shiny edge all the way around where my heat press came to. So if you have where the waffle weave is completely crushed, does not come up, it even might feel weird in that area where you sublimated, it feels different than the towel. Probably too much heat is your issue. This one turned out really, really great and I love the way it looks. So then I moved on. This is the Condi version, just smaller. So if you wanted you know, a smaller towel for some reason, this is the waffle weave version in a smaller size. Sublimated the same way and it turned out great. I did use a smaller print for this version. Then this version is the Heat Transfer Warehouse Waffle Weave. Um, it is a brighter white than the Condi. However, I feel like the Condi is a higher quality towel and I had more trouble sublimating this and getting the waffle weave to stand up than I did the Condi version. So, and when it comes to the waffle weave towels, I do prefer Condi and I will link to all the towels I'm using in the description below this video and you can decide for yourself which one to purchase based on price and which one you like in the video. I do like the way this version sublimated better. Now, if you don't like the waffle weave texture, what are your options? So first of all, we have the small like hand towel that's almost like a bathroom hand towel. It's from Condi. I love the way it turned out. It looks great. I did wanna say on towels like this. So it has a fuzzy texture like a bath towel. I put all of the texture down and sublimated. Now, when I go through, if I was to flip all of the texture up, you can probably see a difference there in the video where you have white gaps because the texture is up. That's anything that has a texture, you will find that with, with sublimation. So just note that when you have a textured surface, you may or may not like it. And then I moved on to the microfiber towel. This was just from the dollar store. Again, with the texture, I sublimated it all up like that. And when I fluff the texture down, you'll get a distorted image. So just note that. And this version, the microfiber version, I had the hardest time not getting press lines. I did manage it with the techniques I showed you already. With the waffle weave, I did it the same way. I just had to fluff it a lot after sublimating. Um, and especially all the way around the edges. I just had to fluff it a whole lot to get that microfiber to stand back up. And it's just that it has such a texture and the heat press just crushes that texture. But I did get it to stand back up with the same methods. And I really do think this one looks amazing. And if you like microfiber, this one is a great budget friendly option, obviously, because it's only a dollar or a dollar 25 actually now. So now you know my favorite is this Condi waffle weave towel. I liked both sizes. Um, I will say the smaller version looked a little more off-white to me. So it was more creamy color. Um, maybe it was just the batch I got, but I just wanted you to be aware of that when you order them. Um, but I did love this version. Now, a lot of people, um, if you are like watching in another country or whatever, maybe you can't get to these sources, but I will just let you know that I liked the Waffle Weave Sublimation Towel. Now, you can probably find a waffle weave sublimation towel 
many, many places. There's probably some on Amazon that you can order. They will be varying degrees of quality. So maybe just order a few, see if you like them, and order from another source if the quality is poor. But I can tell you that they do make high quality waffle weave sublimation towels because I have found one. So I can tell you that. So whether you use my source or another source, does not matter, but you can find a waffle weave kitchen towel that will work for sublimation. If you want something even more budget friendly, go with a microfiber towel. Like I said, I got this one for the Dollar Tree. However, you probably have a source for microfiber towels that are white. Microfiber is generally 100% polyester, just as a general rule, so any of them will sublimate. I do recommend white because sublimation ink is translucent. So any color of your towel will show through the sublimation ink. So be aware of that if you choose a, let's say a yellow towel because your kitchen is yellow, it would alter the colors in your sublimation print and tint them all that yellow color. You might like it, you might not. So be aware of that when choosing the towel color and your sublimation print. So now all that's left to do is for you to head to the description below this video. If you are on computer, scroll down and click show more. If you're on mobile, swipe up on the video or click the arrow to expand the description. There's a full description, full links with everything I've used. You can head there to get all those links, including that file. Then all you need to do is make your own sublimation kitchen towels. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you liked this video and it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.